Have you ever wondered what your purpose in life is? Today we're going to talk about soul purpose and what that is. So today we're going to talk about what is your soul purpose. But before we talk about that, we first need to identify what is soul purpose. So Steve D'Annunzio in the book Prosperity Paradigm talks about soul purpose and he says that our soul purpose is our unique strengths, talents, and abilities. So the things that we love to do, that we enjoy doing, our hobbies, our interests. So that's part of who we are. The second part of soul purpose is, so what do we do with that? How do we use our unique strengths, talents, and abilities? And how do we create value in the world for other people? So soul purpose then is figuring out what it is that we love doing, who are we as a person, and how do we take who we are and create value or bring value to the world. So think about this, the way that we show or demonstrate value in our world today, or at least one of the ways, is through, through money, through dollars. And so if we create value for other people, then the way they show that they value that is they exchange dollars for that service that we provide or that product that, that we create. And so Imagine what this world would be like if each and every one of us was living our sole purpose. So once I figure out what it is that I love doing, the next part is how do I figure out how to create value for others with that thing? So let me give you an example. Uh, There's an individual who lives in the town that I live in. And in high school, he loved being out in the mountains he loved um, looking for deer, uh, tracking deer, and then and he loved going out looking for shed antlers, so the antlers that drop off the deer's heads. He loved doing that. And one day, um, he had missed school to go out and and look for antlers, and he came back in town, and the principal saw him, and he, the principal said to him, "Look, someday you're going to have to get serious." about life because you're going to have to figure out how to make a living and you're not going to be able to make a living just by going out into the woods all day long and looking for deer and antlers. You need to get an education. Is that true? His interest was deer and learning about deer and being around them and being out in the wilderness. He didn't have an interest at the time in being in school and doing what he needed to do there. Well, he ended up creating a business called Muley Crazy, where he videos hunts, he videos deer, he has a magazine, and he has a very successful business doing exactly what he loved to do as a kid. That's an example of figuring out what are my interests, what are my hobbies, what do I enjoy doing, and then figuring out how can I take that and create value for someone else. There's two uh, sisters that also grew up in the town that I live in. And at some point in their life, they became interested in doing crafts and making stamps and stamping cards and envelopes and creating all kinds of things like that. So they enjoy doing that. They created a business called Stampin' Up! And that's a worldwide business now that provides value and entertainment uh, for, for people who like to create and use their stamps. So they too took something that they were passionate about, something that they enjoyed, figured out a way of How do I create a business with this that creates value for others and create a very successful business? Well, here's the other thing about sole purpose. Each one of us is unique and individual. There is no one exactly like you in this whole world. So let's say that your sole purpose is that you like to paint. Is there anyone in the world that can paint exactly like you? There isn't because there's only one you. So oftentimes in the workplace, we talk about the the competitive nature of the workplace. The truth is, if we understand sole purpose, there's no competition. 
because there is no one exactly like you. So all we need to do is be the very best me, the very best person that I can be and develop my unique talents and abilities and then provide them to others in a way that it creates value for others. So the cool thing about Living Soul Purpose is, one, there's no competition. Even if we're doing or are in the exact same business, there's no competition. Let's say that we're both selling insurance. Well, the way that you sell insurance, even if we're selling the same product, there's no competition because the way that you sell it, who you are as a person, the way you relate with the person that you're selling to is different than the other person. So the product may be the same, but nobody can replicate who you are. And so if we understand that, that can change our whole approach to how we feel about uh, the workplace that we're in. Here's the other upside of, of working in our sole purpose. Have you ever gone to a store and been checked out um, by somebody, you know, as you're at the cash register and that person is just miserable and ornery and you know for sure they are not living their sole purpose. They don't want to be where they are. They would rather be somewhere else. And think about the influence that that has had on you. But have you also experienced the opposite where you've gone through the checkout line and the person checking you out is friendly, maybe funny, very efficient in what they do, very helpful to you? That person could be living their sole purpose, working at a cash register, checking people out and creating value for everybody that they see every single day. So you can fulfill your sole purpose in any number of ways, but it's finding what it is that you enjoy doing and then figuring out how you can take your unique things and add value to the world. What an amazing world we could all live in if each one of us understood that, that we forgot about competition, we focused more on figuring out who we are, trusting that as we get to know ourselves better and look at what are the talents that we have and then look at, so what are the needs that exist out in the world? How can I take what it is that I'm interested in, the skills that I have, and how can I go out and create value? For me, living in my sole purpose, I never have to work a day in my life because I love what I do. It, it, it's play. So I figured out about 10 years ago that, that my sole purpose is I love to learn truth. I love to figure out how to apply it in my life. And I love teaching it to others. That's what I'm doing here today. I'm sharing with others the things that I'm learning and that I am trying to apply in my life, hoping that this is something that will benefit others and improve their life. So for doing what we love, why would we ever want to retire? We will be the very best at doing what it is that we're doing. So the products that we create, the services that are provided for other people will be the very best because everybody would be working in their sole purpose. So my challenge to you is if you're unhappy with what you're doing in your life right now, then use some of the principles that we've talked about, which is one, you have a choice. You know, you don't have to continue doing what you're doing. You could change that up. Two, you're accountable for your life, no one else. So if you don't like the situation that you're in, you have the ability to change that. And then be willing to take the risk and to say, if I'm unhappy with doing what I'm doing, Life is short. Why am I going to continue to do this? Why not do something that's really going to bring me happiness? You can figure out a solution for it. But first, you've got to have the desire. You've got to come up with the idea and then figure out a way to make it happen. But I uh, encourage you to figure out what it is you want to do with your life and then go out and do it and experience the joy and happiness that can come from fulfilling your soul purpose. Thanks for watching today. Hope you found today's video helpful. If so, go ahead and like it, subscribe to our channel, and share it with your friends.